Hey guys, this is Nate Walker at Nate Walker Properties. Welcome back. This is video number two in our installment series for personal path to purchase. In video number two, we're going to talk about hiring a realtor and why it's important and what's important when picking your realtor. Well, this process has got a lot of moving parts and it's very important that you have someone that understands the process start to finish inside and out. All the little details and what's important for you specifically in this process. Now, you hiring a realtor is very important because that realtor is going to advocate for you. They're going to make sure that your best interests are being taken care of and they're going to negotiate for you. They're going to have a responsibility to make sure that you are properly represented. Now, for instance, when you see a house that's listed for sale with an agent, it's very important that you have a realtor on your side because the realtor listing that property for sale is contracted to advocate and to represent the seller, not you. Their responsibility is to look out for the best interest of that person, not you. One of the best parts of being able to hire a realtor as a buyer is the fact that it doesn't cost you anything. When you hire a realtor to represent you as a buyer, their commission is paid by the proceeds from the sale of the property. So the seller actually covers the cost of your representation, which is a huge advantage. Now, what do you need to consider when you're hiring that realtor? First and foremost, the question that I'm going to ask is, is that realtor full-time or part-time? I think it's very, very important that your realtor is a full-time professional and not a part-time hobbyist. Now, there's a lot of part-time realtors that are really great. But when making a decision on hiring a realtor, it's often because you're about to make one of the largest financial decisions of your life. So I think it's very important that your realtor is a, is a full-time professional, someone that does it every day, in and out. So we've talked about finding a lender, getting pre-approved, and hiring a realtor and what you should think about when you're hiring that realtor. So join us next time in the third installment of your personal path to purchase where we're going to talk about creating the search to find your home. As always, if you have any specific questions or just want to discuss real estate and your personal path to purchase, don't hesitate to contact us via phone, text, email, or visit our website at www.natewalkerproperties.com.